access. Unlocked. What is good, OD fam, and welcome back to the channel. We are here with some more Division 2 content, and today we're talking about Season 10, Price of Power, which released this past Tuesday. And to be more specific, the best way, in my opinion, to level up your season as fast as possible. Now, before I even start, let me just say that this will not be the fastest way to level up your season. So if that's what you're looking for, this may not be the video for you, but in my opinion, this will be the best way to level up not only your season rank, but level up your character in general. Now, there are a ton of videos floating around, but the fastest way to do this that probably requires you to be in a particular place or scenario with the group, and it probably has you kill yourself over and over again just to rinse and repeat the process and do it over and over again. And as effective as that is at leveling up your character as fast as possible, it kind of defeats the purpose of us playing the game in the first place, right? Which is to have fun. So this method for me is the best way to level up quickly, but also enjoy the game and all it has to offer at the same time. Now, as I've said, there have been so many ways over these last four years that we've come up with to get the fastest level up possible, whether it's having five different characters or going to a specific place in a specific mission and using a pulse or even doing the shooting range side mission over and over again and even though i've tried some of these methods it never really stuck for me as it became way too redundant so this method i'm referring to has been in the game since day one and it's very very simple and it's pretty much been my go-to anytime i want to level up as quick as possible and it's simply doing open world activities but more specifically three particular activities which are control points elite patrols and resource convoys and the trick that i think most of you may not use is to make sure your map is on heroic and you have all the objectives turned on now as you can see that will give you an extra 125 percent xp for all open world activities and with that you are pretty much be gaining a level every single time you complete a control point. Now, when it comes to the elite patrols, this might be the quickest and easiest way in the entire game to gain XP. Now, I know they're random and you pretty much have to keep an eye on the map to see where they pop up. But once you find this location, it only takes a few seconds to complete the activity. There are only usually about four enemies per patrol. And with the method and build that I use, it takes no time at all. All you have to do is flash the entire patrol and kill all four enemies before they even know what happened. And with that, you'll pretty much gain three quarters of your level bar in only a few seconds. And finally, for the resource convoys, these are also random activities, but they are definitely more prevalent than the elite patrols. And if you use the exact same method and keep an eye out for where the enemies respawn, this is another activity which only takes a few seconds and will net you around three quarters of your next level. Now I do have one recommendation when it comes to my personal play style that makes this method so efficient and that's the use of a glass cannon build. Now feel free to use whichever build you would like, but I would definitely recommend a high damage build so that you can get through the activities as quickly as possible. Now I did post a video of my glass cannon build earlier this year and it went on to become the most successful video here in my channel. So if anyone needs a blueprint of the build that I use for all these clips, or if you want some toxic division two gameplay, go check it out. And that's pretty much all I want to cover here in this video, just to share with you guys, my main method for leveling up. Now I haven't had much time to play since this new season dropped. So I haven't actually reached level 100 just yet. I think currently I'm sitting at around level 75 or so with about three and a half to four hours of playtime. So my plan is to finish the season tomorrow. And what I'll do is make my next video on all the new gear and changes and let you guys know what I like or dislike 
or what I think will be viable in the game going forward. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.